Hi, I'm Joseph Pate with Arbitrage Trade Analytics, and today I want to talk to you about a powerful indicator called Arbitrage Z. Arbitrage Z is one of our newest, most powerful tools that is different from our other tools and indicators in the way that it is very predictive. Um, all of our tools are powerful. They tell you the way the trend is going, and they're looking at something very specific. But Z is almost like smelling smoke before you see the fire. And that it can be extremely helpful uh, when you're scalping, day trading, uh, or even swing trading. Uh, it doesn't really matter when it is because you could be looking at a larger chart or a smaller chart, and it's still nice to know before other people. So let me show you what I mean by this. As you can see here on the screen, we have a CVM stock on the one hour chart. We are looking at Arbitrage Z, and we're also looking at Level Pro that you've seen in past videos. The reason I wanted to have Level Pro up at the same time is you'll notice that there's a very similar way that these move. Because these are set to follow, I'll show you the settings. We're following the Arbitrage Band. Now the Arbitrage Band is our most common band to look at when we're looking at a stock on a time chart. There are many other bands, and we'll get into that in the bands training if you haven't seen it already. But Z is extremely cool uh, because of this. We're watching Z. It has a green dotted line, just like Level has a green dotted line. When it's above or below the line, we know that it is growing or falling. That's the way the trend is going. Well, let's take a look here on the arbitrage band where we got a down trend indicator, a little red arrow pointing down. Red light, green light, get out. Well, it says to get out, but if you'll notice, Arbitrage Z said to get out here. And if you'll look at the dotted line, it's a few candles before we got our downtrend. Now, right after one more candle, you'll see the Level Pro starts falling down. That's a second verification that we're getting a downtrend and then we also have right after uh, a downtrend on the arbitrage band. Now this is like a one, two, three, and that's how we want it. We want to trust but verify, and you can use any one of our indicators at any time to make a lot of profit, uh, but that's a very aggressive trade when you're using just one tool. Uh, it doesn't mean it won't work, but we like to verify. So for instance, when you see the candles in a downtrend, the price of the stock going down, 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 well, Z has a little bit of a different action here than Level Pro. As you'll see, Level Pro has an up and a down, and it's all based on is it level or not. Well, Z takes into account this green field to red field. Each of these major dotted lines is a point of resistance where it can tap, touch and retrace and see it as support or resistance. But what's really very interesting and powerful is when it goes above and below the green. Um, that last 20% um, or so, um, um, if it's based on RSI, you know, um, you've seen this before if you're familiar with trading, where there's a 0 to 100 scale, and if it's below 30, it's oversold, and if it's above 70, it's overbought. This is a very similar pattern, where when it's above this green line, it is overbought. So we could take profit here, and we can see that it's also three deviations up on the arbitrage band. Uh, in retrospect, down here at the bottom, you can see that it is oversold. People have been selling this too quickly, too fast, uh, and it needs to recover. So we could have bought right here when it first got its oversold position and just went under three deviations down on the arbitrage band. However, you can see there's more down to happen. So we didn't want to play that aggressively. But if you had, you would have still made money. If you look, you could have bought at 1085 right when it went out of bounds and is oversold. And look what it went to, uh, 1465. But this could have just as easily kept going down, down, down. So an aggressive trader may make more money, but they may lose more often as well. And we want to lock in consistent profits especially when you're new to trading and you're not very comfortable with the tools and you don't have a lot of practice in your belt, we recommend getting multiple indicators verifying when to get in. And you only really need one to get out because taking profit is always a good thing. So let's follow this again. 
a downtrend starts. Now, here's what's really cool about level again. Level, uh, level shows us going up here, but Z shows us even before, wow, look, I am starting to come out of oversold. And you can see that major shift right here where that dotted line matches up with Z before we get it on level, which is right here. And then we get it on the arbitrage band. So it's really that one, two, three pattern. Now, one more thing I want to show you about Z, just like level, you can pick a multitude of bands to go through and watch. You could be watching the RSI line, which while similar, follows the candles more closely as it is the average cost and it is the uh, black line that we're looking at over time, bouncing between the bands. Uh, but a really, really powerful tool, uh, we call it easy mode, is Z itself. Uh, now, most of you would say, well, I've never heard of the band called Z. Well, it's not a band on its own. Z is an average of all of these other bands put together. So maybe you don't want to look at all of these bands one by one. You can, uh, and your um, trading style is up to you. But Z lets you go, wow, all the bands overall are telling me uh, weighted, but this is down. Now, it didn't get over oversold because it's a weighted of value, uh, even on the really large charts. But it also tells me when it's starting to get happy again. So when I get happy again on Z um, and I get happy on level, still right before I get my uptrend, and that's my verification, and I could buy right here. So this is really, really cool. Think about if you bought in at the first uptrend where you get Z, level, and arbitrage band uptrend indicator says to get in at 1021. Um, and we followed it up until the next get out where we have two of our indicators saying to get out. Now, you only remember need one to get out because you want to take those profits. But I see two right here. Z is unhappy. Level Pro is actually still happy. Now we're looking at the arbitrage band. I could even change that to the RSI. And you can see the difference there that it starts getting a little unhappy right here. But it does even out. Maybe that's why the level overall, it's a little late to follow, but uh, they're all powerful in their own right. But you get out here because you've got one or two, two indicators telling you to get out. You could get back in, make a small little profit. Uh, but you sell at 1201 and then you get back in at 1123. Now that's a nice profit already on its own. Uh, we're not talking to even about shorting it. Uh, you could, but we're talking about just getting out. Don't ride through the pain and then ride through that profit. And you could have already taken out, but we don't have a downtrend indicator. We just have basically, it needs to slow itself down. So, Z is one of our newest tools, and I want you all to start using this and playing with it. It comes with the novice plan, and it's one of the most powerful tools that we've seen. Uh, whether you're using the weighted average of Z itself or looking at a band by itself, highly important to add to your tool belt and to use every day. Thank you.